What is up, my dudes? We're back at it again with another video, finally. Yeah, so funny thing about that is I lost my GoPro and shit. Um, yeah, so I would have another video out sooner than that, but I went to go do some street tuning on the white hatch that I showed you guys in the last video that was here, and uh, I had my book bag on top of the car with my lap, with my MacBook, uh, second laptop, uh, the charger for my tuning laptop, all my GoPro, all my accessories, and I drove with it. And sadly, I didn't fucking re realize or think. I was also recovering from being sick, so I think that's what it was. But um, I lost that shit. Someone picked it up right away, and they didn't turn it in because they're horrible people. But <laughs> I lost it. So um, the white car went home, so I was able then to pick up a new laptop, which is phenomenal. Um, it's really large, so it's great. Um, and I got this GoPro here, this, uh, GoPro 12, Hero 12, um, with a 50-piece accessory kit for a really good deal. So we're back. I got a GoPro. I still need to get a few things for it. I need to get some extra batteries and a bigger SD card because this one's only 64 gig, and I'll run that through probably with this video. So, yeah. But brings me back to this video. In this video, we're going to be working on Christian's car today. Uh, we are going to try to get this motor and trans in the car. I have to take out the AC stuff. I have to take out the power steering. I do want to try to leave the cruise control if that still works. Um, that would be really sick to have cruise control. But if we have to take it out, we have to take it out. We'll figure it out. But yeah, like I said, I have to get the AC out, the power steering stuff out. Um, I need to get the trans on the motor, get a clutch on the motor, and then we can put this thing in the car and... Um, yeah, get get ready for all the other stuff that goes along with it. Um, quick update on the other stuff that's in the shop, though. Recently picked this up from my buddy, Will. We're going to be doing some stuff to it. Um, to me, this is straight out of Fast and Furious, but that's cool because this car was built literally 20 years ago. The engine has a rod and piston motor in it. It was built 20 years ago. It's been sitting for about 20 years. It has like 30,000 miles on the motor, but it's been sitting for a long time. So we're gonna get this thing turboed properly. It did have a T25 on it, too small. We're going to a GTX Pulsar 3067. I wanted to get him a turbo that spooled relatively quickly, so I wanted to get him a 2067 or a 2071, tw uh, sorry, 2867 or a 2871, um, or even a 2860, but we ended up going with the 3067, so. We should be able to make 450 plus on this motor. Though it is an eight and a half to nine to one compression motor, because back in the day they didn't think they could do high boost or high compression and boost, but nowadays we know we can. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's really dope build. Um, this thing's gonna look good. Uh, my buddy Will's son, Braden, Brandon, is going to take this thing to prom, I think, or homecoming. So I'm gonna get it together for them. Um, low boost at first, and then we'll turn it up later. So that's cool. And then. Um, Hector's car. I'm working on the fab for this. This thing I was going to cover, but since it was such a long process, um, I'm just going to really cover the tuning for this. So, um, but I did get stuff, some stuff fabricated for it. Um, I put the 45 on there, put the 45 on here. Um, all the intercooler piping. I did all the fuel system, all the fuel lines. Got a fuel pump in the tank, fuel filter, made some brackets. This is a Viterra build. Um, it is a stock rod Viterra build, so it's fairly low compression. But we're gonna see what it makes. Big ass throttle body, so it's gonna be hard to drive. This is a 90 millimeter on a 1.6 with a seven and a half to one compression. So it's gonna be on and off. <laughs> but we're gonna get this thing going. So yeah, that's what else we've done in here. And also, like I said before, Carlos's motor failed because uh, cylinder three exploded. Um, the actual piston exploded. So, yeah, I'm gonna get back to it though. I'm gonna start taking some stuff out of the bay here. Um, see what all we need to keep, see what all we need to take out, and then we can um, make the clutch onto the motor and the trans and try and lower this thing in today. And that would probably be all for this video, but I wanna try and get this thing in. So, let's go. All right, so I got all of the AC stuff out. Um, this is my first time taking AC out and believe it or not this bitch still had a charge So that shit blasted off like an Elon Musk rocket like that shit was I almost got it in my face Scared me a little bit. I knew it might have been charged, but 
I wasn't sure if it had a full charge, and it bitch had a full charge. So, um, so far I got the AC out. The bay's looking a lot more bare, so that's good. Um, right now I'm working on getting the power steering stuff out, but I'm not sure if we're going to get rid of the charcoal canister or not. I'm not sure if you can keep charcoal canister on a boosted setup, because um, you, I'm not sure. Because you might blow boost into the tank, and that would not be good. So I'm going to do some research and see if we can leave that. Because if we can, cool. Doing nothing but being more efficient by, you know, taking some of the vapor from the tank. So it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this engine bay somewhat cleaned up. I have some engine bay degreaser and some um, all-purpose cleaner that I'm going to try and clean the bay with. You know, just do what I can to make it not look like this. So it's, you know, kind of gray and dirty. That's got some grease on it. This is just dirty. It's just, it's just got a, like a light film of filth on it. So uh, I'm going to try and take the care of that real quick. Um, yeah, and then continue pushing on. I know I'm not recording some of this, but when we go to put the motor in, I promise I'll record it. Um, a lot of the silly stuff, you know, just unbolting stuff like, I don't know. I don't want to record it. It seems kind of dull, but... We're moving forward. We got the AC out, working on the power steering. We're gonna get the bay clean and see what's up. All right, so we're back. Um, I took the wire wheel, cleaned up this as much as I can, um, and I'm gonna hit it with some rust reformer, which is right here. Keep the, um, the rust from getting worse. And then I'm gonna hit it with some paint, which is also right here. It says ultra matte black, so it should look pretty good. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get that coated and see what it looks like. Alrighty, this actually looks really good just for a rust reformer. I'm kind of sad we're gonna be painting over top of it, but um, I got this um, acrylic ultra matte to put on here so hopefully it looks similar to this this actually looks really clean so yeah fuck it <sighs> so the paint looks good um it looks really clean it doesn't look as good i guess as the uh rust reformer did but it does look good it looks clean so it's gonna work it makes the bay look really nice compared to the rest of it <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the mounts in here and then we can see about getting the motor mounted with the clutch and the transmission All right, so um, Christian went with an action clutch. We got the flywheel pressure plate and the clutch disc in there um, I don't think it came with flywheel bolts or pressure plate bolts um, So we're gonna need those because these are what came off the motor these are they are stamped AT. No, no, it's hard to see, but automatic trans, they're shorter, so we can't use these. They won't have enough bite. So we need manual trans flywheel bolts. But we're also going with then some Yonaka motor mounts, which look really nice and really clean. These things are going to hold solid for all 300 horsepower. So they look really good. Got a manual T bracket. So yeah, we're kind of stuck right now until I get the flywheel bolts. So. Hey, what it is. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's December 27th. We're back to this. We finally got the ARP um, flywheel bolts and the pressure plate bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and move on here. Get this pressure plate flywheel mounted. Get the transmission mounted to the engine. And try to get that baby in here. So, so let's get to it. All right. So ARP calls for thread locker on the threads. I know you probably can't see that, but... Thread locker on the threads, if you can read it. And um, assembly lube underneath the cap of the bolt. So I'm gonna do that real quick, get these things lubed. And um, thread lockers, I got this new orange thread locker, it's a gel. Orange is in between like blue and red, so I don't want it to be too hard to come off, but this will help keep everything steady and yeah.
Okay, so the ARP suggests 95 foot-pounds using the specified lubricants and I used them, so 95 foot-pounds. Should've never come off. <laughs> Got the uh, thaw bearing in the trans. Get everything looped up. And I got the dowel pins in. Now it's ready to set up. Well, I fought with that for a little bit. Um, the dowels weren't the cleanest things. They were a little bit bitched up, but made it work. It is together. I did what you're not supposed to do and use the bolts, but everything rotates freely. Everything's cool. The dowels were just a little, I guess, out around, but they all went in. It went on together perfect. Everything's tight. And now we can try to set this thing in the bay after I get the mounts in there. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. All right, so the other day, um, I went to Harbor Freight and um, I thought about changing my ways. So I'm not putting the motor in from the bottom this time. I bought this leveler um, so that when we lift the motor up, we can have it level and put it in the car level. So yeah, it's pretty simple to set up. I have a, the transmission case bolt here holding that chain. And then I have a um, bolt down here for the alternator, or not alternator, I'm sorry, AC bracket holding the chain there. They're both tight. I'm gonna start jacking this thing up. Um, I gotta put the mounts in real quick and then we can go ahead and put this beast in that motherfucking thing right there.
All right, boys. Well, she's mounted. All the bolts are tight. I tightened this one. Um, she's in there. I still have to get the torque mounts for the front and the bracket put back on for the torque mount here. And then all five engine mounts will be in place. Yeah, um, this is exciting. This is so exciting because we've been waiting to put the motor in this car for a long time. Um, I've been set aside with work and we were waiting on some parts, finally got the parts. I was fully engulfed in uh, the red car over there, which I will be picking back up on after I leave here today. But um, yeah, she's in dude, and it looks good. It's gonna look so much better whenever we have the manifold on and the turbo and yada, yada, yada. I still gotta put the rack in. That should be coming this week, hopefully. Um, and yeah, dude, I'm excited. Christian's excited. We're gonna keep moving on forward with this thing. Um, I still gotta do some stuff to the engine. Um, I have to put the uh, oil pan back together because I took the baffle out. I have to weld on a bung so we can make a return line. Um, I have to put that baffle back in and um, yeah, put the VTEC solenoid on. We need to put this um, outlet on. I need to put the starter on. Uh, the tube for the thermostat that has to go back on. We have quite a few things left to do on this to get the motor together really um, Now that the motors in I can finish what I was doing with the red car and um, we will catch back up on this thing um, Sorry for the short video if it is a short video um, Just trying to get something out there. I haven't made a video in a long time. So uh, Yeah, um, the car looks great. The bay looks great. The wrist up frame looks beautiful Although you'll not you won't see it really but it is what it is, and uh, we're going to keep pushing, so, yeah. I hope to be keep current with these videos. Um, I know I've taken a break for a long time, but I've got plenty of work in here. The only real ha hassle of recording is the recording, because it takes time, and then you got to plan out everything you're going to do instead of just attacking a job, which I've been doing so with the red card. And, um, so, I'm going to try to uh, make these videos short and sweet, but to the point and um, get this thing all together for Christian and hopefully um, we can have his car running in a few months. I'm juggling Christian's car, my buddy Will's car, uh, my buddy Hector's car, and we have to replace the motor in Carlos's car because that piston failed and uh, keep going. I set my block off for CSS, so I'm excited. I should be getting that back in a few weeks and then I can start on my car, which uh, I've been down without a car, fun relieving car for like two and a half years so christian this is christian's car but he's been without it since he almost bought it because it threw a rod very soon after he bought it so uh yeah we're gonna get this thing together him for him and yeah he's excited i'm excited i can't wait i, I love finishing projects because then i can see them go and be free <laughs> so yeah, that's all for this one, guys. Sorry for the chit-chat. Um, short video. I hope you all like it. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Um, hit that notification bell if you want to. Helps me out in the long run. So check you guys in the next one. Deuces.